My name is Ashley Talu. I'm from Kasigao Girls in Taita Tabata. My name is Geoff Amtongo. I'm from Emining Boys High School, Baringo County. My name is uh, Yash Kishore Parbat. I'm from Shri Swaminarayan Academy, Mombasa. My name is Doreen Kimoi from Moy Girls High School, Kansinga, which is in Bungoma County. My name is Manan Ravat from Jalaram Academy, Kisumu. Um, my name is Tanvi Hirani. I'm from SLP Summer School here in Nairobi. Okay, my name is David Motugi. My dad is Kenneth Otieno. Both of us are from St. Louis High School for the Visual Impaired, Eastern Region, Meru County. I'm Pauline Wirimu from Joro Girls High School, Nakuru County. Okay, my name is Joseph Matemba from Chala Secondary School in Taita Taveta County. Okay. Of course, we have learned to express our ideas without fear, uh, without intimidation, and with a lot of originality, and that is very important, especially those who have the ambition to go on with science and technology as their careers in future. It feels so good because um, at least um, we, our opinions are actually being considered because um, we have been given that platform to, to, to showcase what we have. It has been a good uh, experience being uh, over here exhibiting your projects. So, you know, you, everyone has their own ideas and their own problems they are solving. So it's good to see how people are recognizing their problems and the different ideas they are coming up to solve the, the solution, they, to look for solutions for the issues they are, they are facing. This, this experience over here has helped me to come up with what I want to be in future. Like for example, for instance, I want to be an electricity and electronics engineering and when I walk around I see many gadgets which are dealing with electricity and electronics which makes me to, which makes me to learn more about those people since mine was just a little experience. I've experienced many things. I've uh, gone around to see uh, my fellow students' projects and I've really appreci I really appreciate them because they are good and I have learned something from their, from their projects and I actually have learned much things from the projects. This year, where we have 234 projects and we've visited over the year 47 counties. This then led to some 400 participants as we witnessed today and some 167 schools participating. So one of the key achievements has been to be inclusive to all the counties. The patron, uh, His Excellency President Suhur Kenyatta came and he could see the potential that harnessing these bright young minds across Kenya could really also contribute to his realization of the Big Four Agenda and Vision 2030. So he tasked us, all of us on the YSK board, to roll out scale up all across the country. And that's what we've been doing since last July. We have been reaching all 47 counties, nearly 50,000 secondary school students through outreach activities, through mentorship, through um, engagement at school level, um, through our partners and in, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education to make sure that those young people know about YSK and that they have been um, given the opportunity to compete. What we have seen in this project is that um, the students themselves have sort of their own way of solving their community's problems. Uh, we have students who have devised mechanisms of um, transporting water, saving water, or they have analyzed problems within their communities and have devised a, you know, a gadget or some technology to address that. And, and that means that they don't have to wait for outsiders to come from somewhere else to solve their problems. What they need is a reason to do it because uh, when they realized that they could uh, exhibit, when they could tell their story, that's when there was a bit of interest. Uh, in them telling their own story. So that's where we come in as mentors in science, um, to encourage the students to actually innovate, to think of, new, of ways in which they can solve their problems. So okay, I'm glad to be here at KCC, where YSK is being held. And uh, I want to thank the President of Kenya for giving us this opportunity to show out our project. and. Uh, making us to landscape these talents of ours that we may 
modern it in our future use. I would like to thank the Excellency President and the Deputy President for giving us such a, a forum to um, expose our ideas and talents and maybe help Kenya to move on to the next level. The message I'd like to give to President Kenyatta is to identify all of this talent that's here. Um, from what I've seen, there is a lot of talent in this room. <laughs> We know that Kenya is positioned to be the next innovation hub on the continent. Initiatives such as the Young Scientists of Kenya are supporting, supportive in fulfilling this particular agenda. And we as Safaricom, being an innovative, an innovative organization, want to support initiatives that are going to propel us to the next level. These young women and men, irrespective of where they come from in the country, have an abundance of curiosity, creativity and resourcefulness. And these traits and these characteristics are the precursor for us to achieve not only our global responsibility in terms of globalization by way of uh, uh, our challenges with respect to climate change, but also our national priorities, the Big Four Agenda, the Sustainable Development Goals. And indeed, they're already thinking in depth of solutions and what we need to do increasingly is to create structures and mechanisms to promote greater inclusivity of their ideas, thoughts and insights and connect to this energy and resourcefulness that they have in order to promote development. To me, WSK is a very important forum that I studied in our country today because they are taking our views as students and as the minority in the country um, about, our, about our vision on the problems facing our country today and facing our society. So to me, it's such a nice time here. Uh, I would encourage, if our country goes on this way, we are aiming greater heights. I would like to plead President Kenyatta to encourage such things to happen and more frequently. Like you can have uh, two batches in a year so that like, more people are able to express their ideas uh, to, the to the public. I would like to finalize by encouraging my fellow young students out there to embrace uh, science, technology, engineering and mathematics because it is actually the right channel to follow, it is the right, the right way to go and this one is going to bring a lot of benefits in their lives. What I would tell the young scientists and the young innovators is that there is uh, a life to be made out of STEM. Uh, it's not about money, it's about service, it's about service to mankind and the rewards are immense. When you solve a problem at the community level or when you make a vaccine that is used in your country, um, you feel you know, fulfilled, you feel that you have done something and you've contributed towards the development of your people. And it's not all about money. And there are uh, areas where people will make a lot of money. Yeah? So innovations that can be uh, commercialized will make them a lot of money. So remain in STEM, uh, there is a future out there. It is not as hard that, uh, as, as people have said uh, it is, but nothing is easy in this life. So you still have to work as hard in literature as you will have to work as hard in, uh, in physics, in the area of physics. <laughs>
putting in place or we're working within a framework that ensures the protection of both the students and the ideas that they have brought to the table. Um, and this is to at least safeguard um, to safeguard whatever it is that they have presented. As Safaricom, we are looking into ways that uh, we can identify viable projects and, and carry them with, carry the students through that particular journey uh, as we progress, taking on the challenge that the president put in place. The advice I have for the girls is that um, you don't need to worry about this competition is going to change your life as it has done uh, to me. And for now, I don't know what I'll be doing because I'm just like overwhelmed by this uh, competition, the winning, uh, the overall winner, and I'm just so excited for it. I would like to encourage the other students to take the opportunities in their schools. We are just students like them. We just took a single step and came up and got a chance to come here. So I encourage them. Science is enjoyable. Science is about the environment. It's about us. So we should all be curious to know what's this, what's that. Yeah. I'd like to first appreciate the patron as he has as his tireless efforts to first come up with a big four agenda as that it's very crucial that even though we are the country is trying to tackle different issues i believe that health is one thing we should tackle the most then followed by the rest i am indeed very confident that not just one but a few of the exhibitors who will present between today and the 7th of august will undoubtedly in future be one of the globally recognized science and technology icons of their time. So please keep putting the hard work in.